Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Christmas channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, so I had this weird dream. Lord have mercy. You all, whoever this is I saw in my dream, they are mentally gone. Like somebody could have some form of like dementia or something like that, Alzheimer's, but somebody is gone. Like they are like whoever this woman is that I saw, she's gone. Like someone is mentally gone. So it's a situation where this was a, a Caucasian woman that I saw in my dream. And she's of a mature age. Uh, she like she's in her underwear and my middle kid and I, we are like in the room somewhere and I don't know why we are there. And this woman, like her skin is like really unhealthy looking. Like she has like holes in her forehead, you know, like large pores and things like that. And she has acne everywhere on her skin and things like that. And she's, she tells my middle child to go and pinch the acne on her skin. I'm just looking at, I don't think so over my dead body. And my daughter was said, nah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. No, thank you. Um, and she gets offended. Like she keeps staring at our faces. Like she hits looking at our faces. Um, it's like, like something about us was bothering this woman, but the woman is very like unstable and she keeps yelling to somebody. I don't know who she's yelling to. And she said, and this one, when does she get to leave? And this one, why is she here? And this one, what is, what? I'm like, oh, what in the world? Like that's literally how the woman was signing, sounding in the dream. And she gets to a point where like she's standing up and talk, talking and she's like moving her lower torso back and forth. Like, you know, like almost like you're twerking or something. And it's just like, what in the world am I watching? What am I seeing? Like the whole scene was just freaking uncomfortable. And I'm just like, what in the world is this? And it's like, you're in, it's like a, a like you, it's like, I don't know if it's like three witches, like they're like the something about us, like our light. Literally, I just looked up and saw this thing of pure light right here, this ball of light, right? Something about our light was bothering the demons within these witches or something. But it's like they're mentally unstable and like they're, they're hate, like they're blinded by hate. And she's just like, eh, this one. When did she get to leave? And, <coughs> and I hate looking at this one. And why is she here? And I don't like this one here. And she looks like... Man, you don't got no place to be talking about anybody. Looks. And like, the, and like she gets up because my kid told her no. Which I don't even... I like I didn't even understand the whole dream. It was just like out of pocket. The whole dream was out of pocket. And she gets up. She's trying to come towards my daughter. And obviously, I'm a mama bear, you all. Like, I step in front of my daughter. I'm like, listen, I don't know if you got all so much dementia, but if I hit you, it's going to knock that up out of you. So she comes and she's trying to get to my kid. And I stand in front of her. I'm like, my daughter ain't touching you. You need to get away from my daughter. And she starts, like, her skin has, like, all these, like, just weird stuff on there. She starts, like hitting me in in my face like she's moving her hand and just talking like you know one of those animated talkers and i'm just looking at lady listen i don't i respect my elders but you are pushing my buttons but 
the, but you know, I'm trying not to like lose it because I'm a barrier between her and my daughter. So it's okay. Like she can tap me and stuff like that as long as she's not tapping my kid. So she, she's just going off and on, off and off and like she's just going on and on and on and on about like when are we leaving uh, something about her, her skin. Like why won't we, why won't, why won't we uh, like pop the pimples on her? Like I'm just uncomfortable with the whole situation. And the person that's talking to her, I guess, the person that's responding to her, I guess they're used to her shenanigans and they're just trying to stay calm like myself to, to kind of just let the situation play out. And they're just like, yeah, they'll be gone November 21st. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like they're trying to calm her. Like some Like someone knows either their wife or somebody is just gone. Like they're just mentally unstable. And I don't... I don't know how to verbalize this dream, you all. But whoever I saw in my dream, she is gone mentally. You know how, like, when people have dementia and Alzheimer's is a form of dementia. When people have that disease, like, they don't know what they're doing or... But what whoever this woman is, there's some type of mental illness going on. And... But it's something that's driven also i don't know if it's like it's driven by hate but there's some type of like hate that's like boiling in this woman for whoever you are because in the dream oh our god was that she just she hated you she didn't want to look at you like your like your, your energy your beauty everything bothered her about you like she didn't want to have to look at you so it's like someone is behind the scenes trying to tell her, it's okay, honey, it's okay. But like, they just, they just know she's, she's crazy. Like she, like she has lost it. Someone has lost their mind. It's like somebody feels entitled to having something go their way. It's like someone trying to take something or be something father or narrative say something this just trying to cause some type of havoc in your life but it's like whoever they're talking to <coughs> is privy to whatever this person does like they're i don't know if they were asleep before like someone was trying to hide the fact that they are uh prejudiced they're a bigot or insecure they're a false person whatever it is they were trying to hide but it's like the cats out the bag so because the cat's out the bag, they feel like the only way to keep something going is to keep causing problems for you. It's like, oh, they're doing this to me. Oh, they said this about me. Oh, my God. I did it. I'm like, like, this is not no young person. This is like a mature woman that's acting like a child. But when I was hearing her talking, seeing her moving, I was just, this woman got some type of mental illness. I can't be part of it. But my kid and I, we got the heck up out of there. We were just both confused. Like, my kid is looking at me and I'm looking at her. I'm like, the heck are we doing here? Like, we need spirit to let us know ahead of time. Like, give us a sign or something. Sign, simple synchronicities or something when you're putting us in these situations. Yeah, don't be keeping secrets from us, spirit. No more secrets. Because I was just uncomfortable in the whole situation. I'm like, what kind of dream? Like, and I'm at the point where when I'm dreaming, I know I'm dreaming. And sometimes I'll be like, you know what? That's it. I'm, I'm out. I, I can't do this anymore. I'll wake the heck up. I can't do it. And it was one of these dreams. I couldn't do it anymore. Because, like, the woman's energy was just so nasty, just heavy, just uncomfortable. Like, I would feel uncomfortable being that. I would feel uncomfortable with myself being like that every day. I can't do it. Just seething with a lot of jealousy and animosity for other people. I can't do it. That that would break me. That would be something that would break me. Just being hateful every day. I can't do it. Just waking up every day trying to figure out how can I destroy this person. Like me being hateful would be the thing that would break me. Like I, I've I've endured quite a lot, but being hateful to that extent to other people that would break me. Like I can I can't do it. We all have our moments where we say, like, you know, silly stuff to people or about people. Like, that's not so nice and stuff. But to get up every day and do that? Oh, no. No. To be driven by hate? I can't do it. Maybe that'll break me. Anyways, 
that that's relevant to someone. It says someone has something against you. And it's like they want to do something where it's like they can blame it on like mental illness or something. Or they're still trying to come across as being mentally stable or being secure. Someone is insecure. Someone, I don't know who this is. Like whoever this woman is, never met, met her before, never seen her before. I was at a loss. I was just like, I got uh -uh, to get her out of here. I got the heck up. I can't do it. And I'm glad that I'm able to do that when I don't want to be in a dream anymore. I'm Listen, I'm out. I can't. Put me back in my body. I'm ready to go back. I, I, I can't do this. This operation is over. Okay? It's over. So the truth is out. Let's get into our tarot reading. The truth is out that by some type of plan to come to words like a spiritual leader or whatever this is. Uh-huh. Like somebody wants to come, someone's planning to come towards you to give you some type of friendship. Now, I don't know if you are the higher fin or somebody else is the higher fin, right? This could be someone from an institution. This could be the leader of a community. But someone wants to give you some type of offer. It's like a traditional offer. Someone is traditionally minded. Someone could be religious and things like that. And maybe they feel like you and them have a contract. But you're from the spiritual side and they are from the religious side. They have a problem probably, possibly with your spirituality or something like that i don't know what this is but whoever this is is very traditionally minded they I, I i i don't know okay you're single this person may want to come towards you give you some type of offer there could be some type of karma playing out in your favor some type of justice playing out uh something is being balanced out someone will be losing something that they either tried to steal from you or stole from you it's going to be returned to you because it is yours okay so you could have people behind the scenes losing their mind about this uh, because these are all people that collaborated with whoever this is. I'm telling you, you're spiritual. So the higher fit and the high priestess, I guess it's like two different realms coming together or whatever this is. I don't know if it's going to happen. You could have somebody else that's interested in you, but there is some type of good karma playing out for you. Justice. There could also have been some type of court case going on uh, behind the scenes that you're not privy to and it's going in your favor or something of that nature. And this has to do with your strength. There could be a Leo in here involved, a Taurus involved, uh, a Libra involved in this. So all of, all of those zodiac signs could be relevant and some of them could, and they could not just apply where it fits, okay? But baby, that dream, that, that, that dream, that dream. Somebody would like you to stop, <clears throat> to stop speaking your truth, stop bringing clarity into a situation, stop listening to your intuition, basically. There's something like that. The plan is to stop you, Queen of, Queen of Swords. You collective, you are the Queen of Swords. Their plan is to stop you from moving forward victoriously. Somebody wants to be the one to come in to give you an offer, but it's not a genuine offer. It's a waste of time. Okay? So, there's a plot against you. They may want to get you sick. They may want to take you out. Whatever this is, you could be going through recovery and things like that. But there is a queen of swords reversed in a situation that's not doing too well. Some type of illness is going to take over this woman. And it's not something that's curable. This is not something that's curable. This is something that she's, she's going to be bond, bounded to. Because this is her karma. Okay? So now you got somebody trying to come in really quick with an offer just to trap you. Because I got the Knight of Cups to the Chariot to the Devil. So someone is coming in with a lot of passion real quickly just to bind you to a situation. They want to bind you in some type of marriage. On the surface, the marriage is going to look like it's traditional, like you two are on the same page, right? You, you are very orthodox, but behind the scenes, it's toxic as heck. It's karmic as heck. Someone could be very ang uh, angry with an emperor for balancing something out. They said, no, this is not what we wanted. We didn't tell you to look into the situation. We wanted you to just make this decision. Believe us. You know, those people that they don't know how to think for themselves. You can go and tell them, hey, 
Peter said this about you, and then they jump off the broom. What? Peter said this about me? Oh, I'm, a, da, 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 da. I'm like, nah. The emperor is like, nah, uh, 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 I'm logical here. We're going to think about this. We're going to look into it. So that's what he did. He said, I'm logical. So I'm, I'm going to investigate this situation. And somebody's pissed at that. Why? Why is, who told you to look into this? Who told you to look into this? Why did you look into this? Okay. It's a family about to lose everything. I don't know. This is an institution, whatever this is. Yeah, you are healing and recovering. Uh, you're you're staying calm, cool, and collect, uh, collective. You're the star seed in here. People are burdened. Like, they want you to be burdened, and you're not. You know, like, I'm going to keep moving forward. You're healed, okay? There could be uh, someone in the court system uh, hoping to relieve you of your burdens or something so someone could be aware of what this family has been doing paying people bribing people to keep you stuck or to steal from you but the truth is out about all the manipulation the difficulties people have been doing causing for you uh trying to steal your work trying to block your skills and try to get away with something the people have been trying to steal from you there also is a plot for some type of false twin flame to be sent to you someone is going to come in with a lot of uh, a passion a lot of lust a lot of whatever this is emotions right this is a plot to have you trapped in some type of relationship because somebody does not want to see you in a loving relationship so they're sending this person to you okay to uh um mislead you and someone could even Someone could even be like a womanizer. You end up getting married to them and I'm trapped in a relationship with them. That is just going to be a nightmare for you. So just be vigilant on that. Some of you, you're already around the person you're meant to date. You may not know it. Uh, so just pray with caution. You got somebody that's very obsessed with holding on to or keeping something. I don't know if this is a relationship or a wish fulfillment, keeping you single, basically. They are very obsessed with keeping you single, unloved, and things of that nature. Is that this person? We got to make sure they never fall in love. This person, like the universe is about to be taking these people out one at a time. He said, we don't told you to let go of something. Since you don't want to let go, come on back home. So one at a time, people are about to be falling like flies. This queen of swords reverse is going to be sick. Honey, I can't help you. We've been told you all. And that I'm telling you, that's going to be your karma. But the, the, whatever you're about to have is not something that's curable. That don't mean that you have got an STD or something like that. But it's whatever sickness you're about to have, is there's no cure for it. There ain't no cure for it. Like, uh, I, like, I don't know why, like, listen, that dream, I, I keep going back to that dream. Like, it's just, you have, like, a Karen, thank you, you like, a, like, a Karen on, like, a, a, a under, like, the, if, if there was, like, if there were, like, 10 levels of Karens, first is, level one is the, it's, like, the least problematic Karen, and then to level 10. This woman went to like level 20 with her caringness. It said like she wanted something to happen to you. That she wanted to make it seem like you were the problem. Like something, like you did something to this woman when you didn't do nothing. And this one, when is she going to be leaving? And it says somebody wants you to move because your light bothers the demon within them. Somebody wants you to move. So you all could stay in the same community, whatever this is. Like, I saw these witches' faces. I saw their faces. Like, this one was up close and personal. And when I say her whole body didn't know what to do with my presence, she didn't know what to do. It said she was loose. Like, someone was, like, like a glitching, like, buffering. <laughs> this one I'm like Lord the light is that big that, 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 that big of a problem to these people it's light who doesn't love light like you don't want to be happy 
You don't want to be healed? You don't want to be abundant naturally? Like, what? But when I said, baby, that, that this woman, her light, I mean, my, my light was bothering her deep. Like, this woman was buffering, glitching at my presence. I didn't even, like, I barely even spoke to her. In the dream, literally, my daughter was the only one that spoke to her. I didn't say nothing. What I was thinking is, if you touch my kid, baby, I'm going to knock that dementia up out of you. That's all, like, that, that mental, I'm going to knock it up out of you. That's all I was saying in my head. I didn't say nothing to her. I was just watching her. You know, like, one of those situations you're in, and you're just like, listen, I don't even got time for talking, but if you pop, I'm going to pop off too. It was something, and I don't care how old you are. You touch my kid, baby, I'm going to knock you. Listen, Mama Bear, you should know better than hitting kids. You you know you never come. Um, any mother would tell you, you never come after the children. The mothers that care about their kids, you never come after the children. Don't don't touch the child. Okay? So I'm, I'm I, that's all I was doing in the dream, just watching her like, Lady, you can say everything you want to say. You can keep, like, doing this hand thing. But if you touch, if you make one mother every mistake and touch my baby, I'm a, who? <laughs> I don't care how old you are. You know better. And you're driven by, by uh, hate. Not, not really dementia. You're driven by hate. You don't, This light bothers you. That's your problem. Like, this woman was wanting us to move. Because our light was bothering her demon. Okay? Our light was bothering her demon. And I'm just looking at these people got to be like the most pathetic energies I've ever met in life. This desperate to, to put something on someone, make someone seem like you all, do you all not see how something looks? You, you don't see how something looks. You, you look crazy out here. Just crazy. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what the word is. to. And I'm not trying to sympathize with you all because I know you're, you all like empathy. So I don't really care to empathize with you all. You decided that you're monsters, so that's how we're going to see you all as monsters. I don't see you people, see you as people, excuse me. You're entities. I keep hearing someone saying, I, should, I shouldn't be doing this. I, I need to stop. Like, girl, let's sit down somewhere. Sit down. I keep hearing a woman's voice that she keeps going back and forth. Like, she, she shouldn't be doing something. Her conscience is kicking. Well, girl, we're conscious. You've been in this long enough. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up now. Baby, your karma is already uh, on your tail. You don't even know. False religious people. But don't try to like, just sit back and look at, look at how something looks. It's that we got together to destroy families, we got together to destroy people because we lie and we need to lie to stick. Offer money that you're not getting. Even if you took something from someone, it's a curse. You're going to lose it. The whole family is trying to take some type of reckless action against somebody's work. And they're trying to distract you. They don't want you focused. This is what these kind of people do. They start causing havoc in your life so that you don't got time to focus on your work. But it's not working. Whatever the tactic is, it's not working. You're still focused. You're still healed, balanced, and things like that. And still out here working. People are interested in your work. I don't know who you are, but people are interested in your work. They love it. I said people are interested in your work. Split my deck and it's on the Ace of Cups. That means people love your work. How, however way you do it. And that's what's bothering these people. It's like some type of effort to separate you from people from your supporters so if you have like a platform they want to separate 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 you from your viewers your soul tribe that's what it is and they feel like if they do it long enough you will give up the soul tribe will give up maybe i bet you you let go of something that's the soul tribe they're still going to pop up they're still going to show up like shoot when we walk through hey drip we got something to see and support 
So they don't they don't want you all being supported. So they're trying to cause some type of distance between you and your soul tribe, whatever way your soul tribe is uh, 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 aware of you. It could be at a, at a, at, a, at a building, your business, your 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 your, your content, whatever it is. Baby, it ain't working. I guarantee you when you let go of something, because I see the four of pentacles in here, there's an institution that's obsessed about keeping control of something, having control of something that does not belong to them. <clears throat> I guarantee you when you stop tempering with something, uh-huh, you're going to see the soul tribe come through. Like someone is afraid to let something go because they know your numbers is going to skyrocket because they already know you're naturally abundant. It's that them even seeing the numbers go up is going to do something in something. It's going to do them something that they're going to lose, lose it, lose it. Like let go of something and see. Stop tempering with something and see. You ain't never going to separate somebody from their soul tribe. As a matter of fact, the universe has somebody's soul tribe literally like just hold, together. It says, shoo, all of them will be supporting that star seed. As soon as this mother having situation is over, you're going to see all of them. Subscribe, 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 follow, 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 buy, buy, buy their products. So it don't matter what you do. The soul tribe is still intact. They are still eagerly waiting. Even if they're not aware, they're spiritually eagerly waiting to support. So, listen, these light workers ain't worry. Motivation. You're under some type of illusion. Okay? Six of Cups in the reverse. Someone's trying to steal a relationship, block a relationship, block a connection, block a meeting, whatever this is. You could have somebody from the past that wants to have some type of meeting with you, connection with you. You don't got no fun memories of the past with the Six of Cups showing up in the reverse. He's like, nah, we good, we good, we good. No, no, no ill feelings. You stay over there. We did the work to heal and balance ourselves out over here. We need you to do the same so that you can move on to a different direction, not coming back worse to us, Okay. So someone wants you to have fun memories of them. They may want you to think of them. They may be doing some type of magic or something so you can reminisce. It's like, I ain't reminiscing about nobody. Sure, if I think about you, it ain't nothing good. So you probably don't want me thinking of you. It's what that star seed is saying. This is this all has to do with blocking you from being in a romantic situation where somebody is being like a, a, a gentleman towards you. What do they call those men that uh, um like you know shivers they open doors for women they you know they're very uh sweet to their women and things like they're very respectful uh may lavish their women a little bit and things like that and you ain't getting with somebody for them to laugh at you but i'm just trying to give like an example like shivery somebody does not want to see a man be chivalrous to you that's what it got to do with they don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be loved. They don't want you to be supported. Like they just want you out here in the cold. And these are a bunch of bitter women that are trying to do this. And you got like an ex that's doing this as well. Like I, whatever this is, baby, count me out. This is a different level of hate. Like, uh, okay, <laughs> this is what we do. We ain't going nowhere. We're gonna go on, on the most high say it's time for us to go. We start seeds, baby. We ain't going nowhere, okay? So, you may not want to meet with somebody, whoever this is from your past, because you know what they did, okay? It's like the truth is out about what somebody has been doing. Someone could even be confessing. What this is a source, somebody could be confessing what it is they've been doing because something has just gotten too out of hand. Like I keep saying, something started off funny. They were doing something, hindering your growth, hindering your, hindering your resources, stealing your money and things like that. And it was funny to a whole group of people. A whole group of people. It was funny to them. It's not funny anymore. Money's on the line. That's what they say. 
It's a lot of money on the line. Money that does not belong to them. So some of these people are going to go from uh, trying to keep you stuck to wanting you to walk away, to go away. Because you, your, your light is too much for them. Your light bothers the demons within them a little bit too much. So they say, hey, we need you to go away. If you like, there's something that's about to play out where they say they're just desperate for you to leave. It said, I need you to leave. We need you to like go. It's okay. I don't care. Whatever obligations you got to work with us, we are going to relinquish those obligations. Just leave. Because your light bothers the demon within these people. So they spend all this time trying to keep you stuck. And now it's going to turn into something where they can't even afford to have you around because the most high is doing tick for tack. It said the longer you keep this person stuck, the more resources you lose. You're about to be flat out broke. So let's keep going. So they're going to get desperate. Say, hey, we need you to move on so this thing, this thing here can be over with. Go, we won't touch nothing that belongs to you. Just, just go away. They want you to go away. Because they don't, they, they've built their kingdom of darkness. Maybe they're benefiting from it some way. Maybe you're awakening people and they're losing people. People are walking away and they're like, nah, 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 nah. Go ahead and just leave. I'm telling you, go ahead and just leave. You're hopeful. We'll be hopeful over there. We won't temper with you no more. We won't bother you no more. Okay? You could be a queen of pentacles that they've been doing this to an empress energy. I mean, I'm not saying cool you are because we've been following the same story since January the 26th of this year. So, you are an empress that they've been doing this to. I just split the deck and it went on the empress. You are definitely an empress they've been doing this to. Something, something is like, it's, it's overbearing. It's what I just heard for somebody, for a group. It's overbearing. It wasn't supposed to be this way. There's a woman, somebody's wife or whoever this is. Has something planned out. It was supposed to go a specific way. But it's not going the way that she wanted it to. This is someone that feels entitled to what belongs to other people. She wants a tick from people. This is a whole group that it feels entitled to other people's work. Other people's abundance, resources, and things like that. They don't want to have to work for it. Okay? There could be some type of secret being exposed. Or someone is like someone is trying to look into something. Like they want to find out when are two people going to connect? When are two people going to do something? When are they going to meet? When da, 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 da. They don't know. They don't know. Is that one? When are they going to meet? Is that somebody's supposed to be having the four one one, but she don't have the four one one because somebody has learned how to move smart, discretion. Don't talk to them about anything. Don't talk to them about your plans or nothing. And they're walking around pretending like they have to the scope. Oh, he, he da, da, da. Oh, she, da, da, da. It's like, no, that, no, 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 no. That's a no. It's a no. They, they want to act like they know what it is that's going on. They said, what's going on? Well, I can't tell you because he... Is that she don't know what's going on. He don't know what's going on. They're not in on it. Someone has been excommunicado. Someone was part of the inside group. Now it's like the inside group is an inside group. <laughs> She's part of the first inside group, but there's a second inside group now. And she ain't part of it. So it's like, mm-mm. It's the end. It's the end. Yeah, it's the end of something. People, people be way more committed to destroying other people than they are to themselves. They're more committed to causing uh, uh, havoc in, in, in the world than they are to building for themselves. You're putting in all this energy to destroy somebody when you could be using all that energy to build something for yourself. Okay? Build something for yourself. They, they, they want... like they. There's something I just picked up on. It's like these people, 
if they could just disturb your peace. They don't want you working in peace. They want to stop you working peacefully. Stop your work. Like something about your intuition bothers these people. Is that you know you're a little bit too clear for them. At first they wanted to pretend like, oh, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're talking about because this is what people do to practitioners. When you initially start your journey, they don't know what they're doing. Your, your, your intuition is distorted. And these are all morons getting under your page and stuff like that to say that they don't even know nothing about divination. They've been pretending their whole life. But they'll get in there. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, da, 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 da. But the whole time what you're saying, baby, it's happening to them. But they got to keep that facade up. They got to keep pretending that you don't know what it is you're doing. But everything you're saying, baby, it's, it's applicable to them. It's like, oh, no, she don't know what she's doing. <laughs> no, she don't know what she's doing. And they go behind closed doors. I can't stand this biosh. Who the heck has been telling her my secrets? Who the heck has been telling him my secrets? Girl, nobody. That's the gift. Nobody. Oh, well, spirit. Spirit has been telling us. If you want to take, if you got a problem, you're going to have to take it up with spirit. Spirit has been telling us your business. Like this creature I saw in my dreams last night. They almost got the dementia knocked up out of her. For trying to mess with my baby. Baby, nobody's telling us your business. Spirit is telling us your business. The spirit says, hey, there's something here you need to know. Spirit's like a best friend. You know that work best friend you got? <laughs> that spirit. Girl, did you hear? Girl, come on. Girl, sit down. Sit down. Girl, sit down. Did you? <laughs> did you hear that his wife is insecure and she's been trying to come after you? They've been working together against you to destroy you. And she's been pretending that she's secure and things like that. That she's confident. But your beauty bothers her. Did you know that, girl? Look, I just... Uh, you're sitting there like, girl, no. I didn't know that. That's you and spirit going back and forth. That this is why they've been coming after you. Throwing all this like energy to you. Trying to take you out. Just projecting a lot of negative energy onto you. Girl, that's why I said, girl, I didn't know that. I didn't know I was that beautiful. I didn't know I was that brutal. Girl, you for real? Now I'm about to have to be out here looking extra, extra cute. So I can spaz out on these folks. <laughs> and you and spirit are just freaking communicating with one another. And some of you, your ancestors is petty. That's why you're petty. It ain't, it's not by accident that you're that way. I found out my pettiness. I'm typically a stoic person. You ain't gonna know what it is I'm thinking unless you know me. So I keep it real like stoic with you. You ask me a question, I answer the question. Okay. Once you get to know me, that's when my goofiness comes out. So that's reserved. But uh, behind closed doors, I'm the queen of petty. Listen, I am freaking retarded. I don't take nothing serious. What, like, let's see, my, my kids, my kid and I, we were talking because they're just like me. We were, I was walking with my baby girl the other day. <laughs> and something happened. I said, mommy. I mean, why do we take nothing serious in our family? Like, we're always laughing at everything. She said, I know. She said, somebody could get shot. And we will be there like, damn, you got you got shot, dude. Like, you just going to let him do you? Like, like we are retorted. Just, just don't make no sense to be that retorted. It don't make no sense. But that's just how we are. But like life is not that like life is not that like miserable where you can't laugh about nothing. But I don't know what happened to these kind of people. And, I, and like I said, spirit is like revealing these people to me like one at a time. That woman I saw in my dream. Now I know who she is in this story. Like it, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous that like people just. Wake up every day and just choose to be hateful. What you what you being hateful for? What you being hateful for? It ain't never that serious. I'm telling you, you are conversing with spirit. You are freaking conversing with spirit. Like spirit is talking to you. Be giving you the tee hee 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 on everything and everybody, and you just be out here 
Like you don't know nothing. God forbid you're young looking like myself, out here looking like a peach of cups, but a whole empress. Baby, no nobody take you serious. They see you and say, oh, it's a queen of cups. Is that nah, no, no, mother effer. I'm a freaking high priestess. I work hard to get to this status. Yeah, don't be, don't be judging me because I look young and innocent and stuff. <laughs> right, and they split the deck and it went on the queen of cups. Like, they just be trying me. Like, the queen of cups is a beautiful energy. Like, I, man, that, that's a beautiful energy, Right? So it's, it's not an insult if somebody says that, oh, that's the queen of cups. But there's some type of disregard for the other aspects of yourself when people say, oh, that's just the queen of cups. It's a nah, mother effer. It's a queen of swords in here too. Don't try me. I know I look like a pitch of cups. Young, vibrant, naive looking. Pretty easy on the eyes, I reckon. <laughs> Gotta build yourself up. Okay. Very, you know, easy on the eye. Okay. But, <laughs> not just the queen of cups. I'm not a page of cups alone. All those aspects are within me. But when you see me, baby, you'll never think that. You'll, you'll never even assume I know anything about spirituality. Because it don't leave my house. It doesn't leave my house, folks. Unless I'm giving you like a bracelet I've made and you ask me what the bracelets are. I tell you that, but... For me to sit down and have like a spiritual conversation with you, like I prefer to respect everybody's boundaries. If you ask me a question, I can answer it, I'll answer it, but I'm not going to initiate any type of spiritual communications with you, the conversation with you. If you're intrigued, I got answers, give it to you. I don't got answers, I tell you, hey, I don't know that, but I, I'm, I'm curious myself, I'm going to look into it. It's something like that. But I'm telling you, you're out here conversing with spirit. Like they're, they're, they're telling you, giving you information. And whatever action this, this family is about to take against you, you already know. If you don't yet, it's going to be revealed to you. Like there's something, uh, 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 and I'm just using this as an example. There's something where it's like, I don't even know how, how to put this. Like, there's a weird situation that I've been in with someone. Where is that before they do something, I can see them doing it. But I've still been told, do nothing. So I don't do anything. So it's not that I don't know what they're doing. Like, literally when someone is doing something on the dot. Like, if they're doing it at 5 p.m., I see it at 5 p.m. Or sometimes I'll see it ahead of time. So like literally I can see what it is they're doing. Sometimes hear what it is they're saying and things like that. But spirits like do nothing. We got it. So I just be like, okay, well, I'm going to need y'all all to take care of it a little soon. Because, you know, things is getting a little sticky over here. We need you to amp it up a little. But, you know, they said they got it. So I got to trust them. But it's something like that. Before people take action against you. You already know, because you're showing up as the Temperance High Priestess Starseed. Baby, you freaking powerful as heck. And the freaking uh, Hierophant, you're powerful as a mother effer. With the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, true talent, true abilities. Straightforward, direct, to the point. Telling you, direct. Someone that has self-actualized. You could have another High Priestess in here. That is seeing something from a different perspective, self-actualizing. And spirit is revealing something to him or her. They say, you need to walk away from this nonsense. It, this, this here in what you think it is. You've been misled. Okay? People are going to start walking away because they're going to see the truth. about. I'm, I'm telling you, they're going to be walking away because they're seeing the truth about a situation that a karmic group of people have created who are living in fear. Oh my gosh, bother. A lot of intense emotions, confused all over the place. Anxiety, animosity, just trying to figure out what your plans are. How can they handle communication between you and a king of pentacles? He's a king of pentacles, you're a king, queen of cups. Okay? Okay, we got the King of Pentacles to the King Queen of Cups. More than likely coming together, getting married or something like that. Okay. 
because I see the King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, to the Four of Wands. Some type of union is going to take place. There could be some type of marriage going on. You could end up getting married to someone in the long distance or something like that. Okay? <clears throat> Whatever this is. But there's something being revealed. Something is being revealed. Your strength has got you here. The universe has got you here. Favor has got you here. Anyways, the, you know, some type of truth is going to come out and it's going to lead to people just seeing something from a whole different perspective. This, this whole time you've been lying? Or it could be something where someone says something and people just look at them like, uh, yeah, that don't sound right. Now I got to look into this because you told us it was blue before. Now you're saying it's purple. It's two different shades. Which one is it? That someone, someone may even like say something on the side of their mouth, at the side of their mouth about you, how you look or something like that. And it's going to ruffle somebody's feather. Is that, oh, shoot. If you feel about them that way, then how do you feel about me? Because we look the same. We're the same. So this could be someone who's like a, a bigot or something, prejudice or something. And they say something out of pocket about somebody. They don't like whoever they've been coming after their star seed. And somebody around them, it says, shoo. Okay, you, you got a problem with them. Let's say their complexion. What about me? Because we're the same complexion. How do you feel about me? Uh, it could be something about like divination. Since you're a high priestess, somebody got a problem with you being a, a practitioner. And somebody around them could be gifted. And they're probably thinking, well, if you don't like them because they are gifted. Then how do you feel about me? So I can't, I don't want to work with you anymore. Okay. So anyways, let's get back to your collective. The truth is out. You're going to, you're going to have some type of new beginning and you're going to be very content in life, very fulfilled in a matter of time. Okay. You will be making new connections, very successful in life. Uh, I could give you just the date. Uh, I mean, the uh, 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 rough estimate of when you can expect something, but I don't want people hindering what it is the most high has for you because it's something where you got a lot of just malicious people wanting to get ahead of you to F up your plan. If you're in a relationship, keep it to yourself because there's something where you said they want to find out who you're dating so they can do some type of manipulation. Some of you, you've been with someone for your whole life. Like they've known you forever. So when these kind of people come to them and say that, oh, this person is da 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 they're going to look at them like, yeah, I've known him for a thousands of years i'm just using that as an example i've known him for millions of years and we i know what he is and what he's not thank you goodbye okay or you could be a woman yeah i've known her since she was uh 10 years so i don't care about none of that or uh, they might like somebody might just tell them nah, i'm good and walk away so whatever it's that these people they're used to doing something they're used to bribing everybody when they get to somebody they're not able to bribe, it throws them off. It said, but I'm offering you $50,000. But I'm offering you $300,000. It said, I'm good. Because these kind of people, they don't understand principle. They don't understand, like, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, 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 character. Having character. These are people that speak character, but when it's time to display it, it, it ain't nowhere to be found. It's like, I would never da 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 da. And then you offer them some money. It's like, what were you saying? Girl, I was just talking BS. Uh, girl, never mind that. I was just fooling around. It, it's that kind of vibe with these people. No principle, no morale, no, no, n ain't no loyalty in here either. There's some type of false sense of loyalty these people have to each other. But they, they will pass out on each other in a heartbeat. Now, I don't give a F about you. I got to look out for me. I got, I got, don't forget, I got secrets on all of y'all. It's something like that. And these people don't got nothing you need to be envious of. Not a thing. These are people trying to steal from you. They want, they, they said you're less than them, but they're trying to steal from you. How does that work? How do you say somebody is less than you, but you're, but you wake up every day trying to steal from this person. 
If they're less than you, then nothing they have should be worth your time. Correct? Nothing they have should be worth your time. It, it don't make no sense. That's like saying, oh, that person is ugly, but then you go and have surgery to look like that person. Is that wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put my two cents in it. Because you said they were ugly. Why are you getting plastic surgery to look like them? It's always it's that like somebody saying they don't like your outfit. Two weeks later, you see them walking around in this very same outfit. They're trying to avoid you. Oh, I don't like that dress. Two days later, they got the dress on. Like, wait, hold on. I don't like that ha hair. A month later, they got the same hair. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> hold on now, Sharisha. Hold on now, Ashley. You just told me the other day that you didn't like this dress. Because you know me. I'm the queen of petty. I'm going to ask you. I thought you said you didn't like the dress. Because I'm dying to see what it is you're going to say. I thought you didn't like my blue dress. Crickets. Just be hating for no reason. If the amount of energy you all put into hating people were being was being used... In a different way, like investing in yourself, your time, your 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 future, and things. So there ain't no way somebody in their fifties, sixties, forties should be out here bullying people that are younger than them because they ruffle your feather because you want someone else to be seen as them. Do you even hear that? You want a false person to be seen as a legit person, but you all know this person is false. How long do you think a false person is going to pretend to be legit? They're going to glitch. She's glitching already. From what I picked up on, sis is glitching. Sis, sis is so un she is so uncomfortable doing this. Like, I, I don't know what to do. They're not around for me to copy them. It was easier when they were here with me. I could just look at them and listen to what they were saying. And I could pretend to be them. I can't do it anymore. How do I get in contact? How do I get in their energy? I'm desperate to get in their energy. The, the, the heck kind of stuff are you all doing? What kind of mess? That's what magic is? I didn't know that's what magic was. That's called manipulation. Magic is a form of manipulation, but what you all are doing is a decept deceptive kind of magic. It's not really magic. You're just causing deception. Which means you don't have any real gifts. You got to manipulate. <clears throat> But, like, I, I see a woman that's buffering. She can't keep it together. Can't keep it together. Been doing her best to keep pretending to be an empress. There ain't no empress qualities in sight. And the husband, he knows now she ain't no real empress. Said, damn, I married, oh, my God. Why did I marry this woman? Oh, my gosh. And he's, like, stuck with her. She, I don't know what this was, but stuck with her. Can't come to you. I don't know if someone thought they were going to get a divorce. And I don't know, this might be somebody else. Like somebody is was getting a divorce to come be with you or something like that. I don't know who this is. I'm going to get off that story. Just falls. Someone in here, because I see the Ten of Swords a lot. Someone is a false religious energy it could be a group of people like they, they play on people's religious aspect i just think this is not uh you know in alignment with what the bible says you don't even know what the bible says do you because you don't even be reading the bible you don't even follow the bible but you know it's a it's an easy way to get people to get on board with your madness so as soon as you say Oh, I just don't think it's uh uh, uh it, 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 it's good. It's not something that it's something that goes against what the Bible stands for. But you, you're not religious though. You don't even practice what you preach though. You're just a convenient Christian. You're selective with your Christianity. 
If you're amongst Christians, you're Christians. Once you leave their site to F with Christianity, is what I'm hearing. You don't give two Fs. You are what you need to be because you're an opportunist. You're showing up here in a devilish energy. Like, whoever this is, this is a higher fent obsessed with keeping control of something. Someone's opportunity, someone's networking opportunity, someone's business relationships. Uh, 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 oppor like, I'm trying to see the word, the word offers. Who are you getting offers from? Who are you connecting to? You and this person do not have a contract together to be together. But someone is distorted. They think you and them are going to be together. You don't have a contract with this person to be their lover, their whoever. You don't have a contract with this higher fence. This is just somebody that's distorted. So they're obsessed with you. This is a Bible thumper that's not even dedicated to the religion. They're obsessed with you. Like, obsessed. Someone is, like, toxic. There could be, like, a few religious people in here. If the energy don't apply, you ain't been doing this, and you know it's not you. But there's somebody I'm picking um, up on is a false religious character. Obsessed with the energy. Lots of secrets. Just too much. You got an emperor that's investing or manifesting some type of healing or reconciliation. Like he wants to heal with you. Heal something with you. Someone could be very abundant. He could be very fulfilled in life, single and things like that. Maybe a little bit on the mature side. You may be on the younger side. But he wants to reconcile something with you or start something new with you. I don't know if it's a new project, new work opportunity, new whatever this is. It may have something to do with spirituality. Trying to make sure I, yeah, I don't miss nothing. Lawyer, lawyer is that, listen, I'm about to like, listen, we're about to balance this out. There could be a lawyer within an institution that's taking some type of action. To, to fix, I don't know, to fix something or he's listening to his intuition to do something. Whatever it is they're doing, it'll turn out like it's supposed to. I can't go too deep into that because I see what that lawyer is or judge is doing. I, 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 I don't get it. It's like, it's like a... a you know how in life, the, the grown-ups are supposed to teach us responsibility, character, and all of that. It's like now in society, the young folks got to teach the grown-ups how to behave, how to act. And the generation now is like, Lord, I'm looking like, what? You mean we got to tell our elders how to treat people? We got to tell our elders how to be courteous? How to mind their business. They're the ones that are supposed to tell us how to mind our business. If it don't got nothing to do with you, what? Mind your business. We have to tell them that now. Somebody, there's somebody, I don't know if it's a father and son that helped a woman steal something. It's been taken from her. It says she had some type of... I don't know what kind of story this woman... It's a lot of different parts of this story. I don't know what kind of story this woman told this man. And he got his son on board to help him steal from somebody so that this woman could live comfortably. It's going to be taken from her. That she's going to have to leave. I don't know if this is a house. Whatever this is, she's going to have to leave. It does not belong to her. Like, I don't know if the courts is going to be balancing something. Whatever this is... She's losing it. And she's obsessed. Angry. Angry. Someone may not even be like... I'm not even... Like, someone mental... Whoever this woman is, her mental... It, it's not even right. These are the kind of people they can go to bed at night not caring. Like, what's going on with who... 
they're doing something to so if you have let's say you have a mother that's passing away with cancer listen this woman don't care she got what she wanted anyways she feels entitled to what belongs to you maybe a house and a car was left to you and they decided you couldn't have it maybe some type of inheritance was left to you they decided you couldn't have it maybe you were left some money that money could help you take care of your mother take care of your children what well, shit they don't care these people don't care just empty they don't care Say, shoot, that don't got nothing to do with me. That's what these kind of people always say. That don't got nothing to do with me. What? So then if it happens to you, hey, that don't got nothing to do with us. You're going to figure it out. Like we had to figure it out. So if you're sick and you need money to heal, to be taken care of, baby, that don't got nothing to do with us. Because that's the thing. You're all never, you're incapable of putting yourself in other people's shoes. You're more focused on stealing the shoes. But to walk in the shoes is a problem. Yeah, you can steal the shoes, but can you walk in the shoes? No. Take the mother efforts back to the owner. You can't walk in somebody's shoes. Whoever this fake empress is, I see your queen of wands reverse pretending to be an empress. Queen of cups reverse pretending to be an empress. Queen of pentacles reverse pretending to be an empress. Queen of swords reverse. Pretending to be an empress, wanting to be seen as an empress. Can't walk in the shoes of the empress. Can't walk, cannot walk in it. It's too big. Meaning it's too there's too much responsibility. There's too much positive energy. There's too much nurturing. These are not nurturing women. Is that you? No. Sure, I don't give no F I, I hear a woman, I don't give a F about his feelings. Hey, he got with her. We don't feel bad. He got with her. He chose her. She, she says that quite often. I don't give a F about his feelings. <laughs> as long as he gave me money. That's all I care about. I don't know if this is somebody that was caught up between two women and he made the wrong choice and he thought he was with an empress and he's finally waking up that, uh, no, you're not with an empress. You're with a facade. And she's been trying real hard. To keep that facade going. So she said, let me get out here and destroy this other woman. So nobody ever knows that I'm not a real empress. Because whoever she's been coming after is clearly a temperance energy, high priestess energy. That means, baby, those are people with that ace of swords. You don't, you don't even have to say hello. They can see your nasty aura. Just you coming towards them and say, shoo. I hope they're not going to be along, uh, around for a long time. I'm going to have to go and, you know, cleanse my energy, sage or something, meditate, drink some water, get some sleep or something so I can clear this sucker out. Like, you don't even got to talk to them. They just know. And as soon as you say hello, they say, yep, there it is. So somebody has been pretending to be a real empress. Say, I'm the real empress. I'm the real empress. If you got to say you're the real empress, you're probably in the real empress. The real empresses don't got to put their hands up. Because the spirit already knows what energy they're residing. They say, okay, that's an empress. That's an empress. That's an empress. The one with the hands up saying that they're an empress. I'm not familiar with this one. Are you familiar with this one, Ezekiel? No, me neither. We'll come back to this one. Let's let's keep going. That's an empress. That's an empress. That's an empress. It's another one with their hand up saying that they're an empress. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Ezekiel, it's a pick me bee out there. That That's not an empress, is it? Nah, 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 sire. <laughs> no, my lord, that's not an empress. We, do, we did not put... The pick me gene in the empresses. So I'm not familiar with this gene. Let's come back to this one as well. Empress, 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 empress. And then they keep running. Every now and then they run into these pick me, pick me beaches. I got to say beaches. You know what I mean. Pick me. Oh, pick me, pick me. Oh, pick me, pick me. And they don't even know what they're talking about. Pick me. Don't win and got in a toxic relationship. Or a man that is not faithful, about to be cheating on you with the whole block. Got a, 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 a got a sister in every area code. Okay. You wanted to be picked. He picked you. Now she's trapped. She don't even know what's about to happen. 
But the, the real empress is sitting back like, shoot, better you than me. I'm so glad you took that one off, off the market. That's one less problem another woman got to worry about. You're attached to him. That, that's your business. Listen, kudos to you. Thank you for doing us a favor. At least he won't be around to trick us anymore. We already know he belongs to you now. That's your problem. That's your burden. Karmic women, when they do something, they always think, oh, they've one up somebody. They don't realize like the Empress actually one up you. Like she sat back and let you put yourself in that man's face. Like, oh, there she goes. He's coming. She's about to go put her tight pants on, tight dress on, so she can look skimpy as heck, just so he can notice her. Oh, look, she's about to go offer to go bring him some lunch. Oh, look. And the air pressure just sitting there getting a cool kick out of it. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's like daytime entertainment, daytime television. You just see everything play out. The, the karmic does not know <laughs> how it's going to end. But you know how it's going to end, so you just sit there. You just sit there and you watch. You say, oh, this is a good movie. Shoot, at this point, it's a TV show. Every day you wake up, it's a new episode. A blessing. Because, you know, those TV shows, they only release episodes once a week. You get to see a new episode every day of this TV show. So, until she finds out, oh, oh, I don't want, I don't want to be with him anymore. No, girl, you got to keep him. It's at your death to us part. You, you, you're going to stay with him. That's your man. You're going to stay beside him. Anyways, thank you all for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.